track. So like we just said, this is not the first storm we've seen this week. Look at my friend Mary in the corner. Oh my goodness, we have extreme flooding in the middle of your screen there. That is what's left behind in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire from Wednesday. The popular beach town is practically underwater. So now we want to make sure we check in with NBC's Mary Marco this morning. Oh my goodness. I, yeah, we're just, you just take it away, Mary, because we can clearly see how intense the conditions are there. I mean, the wind will really just blow you right back at this point. The the rain, it's all very intense, though. Its wind is extremely strong, and we're at the intersection of Church Street and Ocean Boulevard. This area will be closed later today. Because you can already see there's ponding here, and this is one of those flood risks. And I'm going to tell you just how strong the wind is. Take a look at the, at the street signs here. They're just rattling in the wind. Now, the Hampton police are preparing for, quote, major coastal flooding after declaring an emergency during the deluge of last week's storm. The National Weather Service has issued a coastal flood warning for today in the area from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It applies to the southern New Hampshire coastline up to Portsmouth. High tide is at 1220 this afternoon, and because it's an astronomical high tide, the water will come in a foot higher than it did on Wednesday. Officials are worried about compounding damage as well as public safety. Here are some tips to keep in mind if you live in a flood zone. Now, avoid entering, moving, or standing in flood waters. If you're told to evacuate, only return home when officials tell you it's safe to do so. And finally, adhere to the adage, turn around, don't drown. Don't try to drive through flooded roads. We just want people to be safe. If you find yourself stuck in your home, please call 911. Uh, call the police or the fire department directly if you need to, but we'll have a number of vehicles. The Rockingham County Sheriff's Department is loaning us one of their high water vehicles, so we'll have two of those in operation. We're really doing everything we can to ensure safety during this event. Uh, we do need the public's help, though, uh, and, and we're just asking people not to, not to participate in any activities that could potentially cause them harm, which further uh, you know, puts other people, including the, the first responders, into harm's way. Now, what the chief was alluding to was people get coming to this area to watch the waves. He said it's a beautiful thing to watch, but it's dangerous. That's why they're closing a lot of these roads down, really all all beach access roads down starting at least at 10 o'clock this morning, maybe sooner, depending on how fast all this water comes in. We're live in Hampton Beach this morning. Mary Marcos, NBC 10 Boston.